Hey guys, it's me, your friendly neighborhood Shepard Tamer, checking in for another episode of Paper Hats. So, we are here, and as I said, we're going to do some interior. So, I've already started a little bit. The way we're going to go through this is sort of how we went through this build. I'm going to tell you my tips, and then I'm going to do them off camera, and then we'll go back through and explain it on to the next step. So, the first step I've got for you is put in your floors, your roofs, your ceilings, and all of that to make sure you've got everything set up. Now for a build like this one where it's a bit janky on all of the corners because we're doing a, a weird shape one, I've used a ladder. Some people may use stuff like uh, spiral staircases. That's absolutely okay as well. The other thing I would say to get going before you put in your interior and all of the chests and that sort of stuff you want to use is partition off some of the space so you know what's going where so this is going to be my kitchen for example out here is like my greeting hall little seating area type thing and then up here onto the second level we've got this space here which i'm going to have a bedroom and kind of closet area inside of this box and like a workstation out here don't be scared to block stuff off and make rooms inside of something like here and also what i've done is i've flattened off some of these edges because it's very hard to get some big amounts of detail inside of this stuff without having anything else so yeah let's throw some things wait wait it's coming it's going to night time it's going to night time there we go bed is in our bedroom um but yeah so don't be scared to do all of this stuff just because it's the way that the building shaped it's your building change it how you want as you can see these these are here and you can still see out of them okay it doesn't matter to do this but yeah let's throw things at the wall and see if they stick and get that sorted i'll probably start on the kitchen area here so here we go here's our nice little kitchen area you've got the cookers themselves with like a, a thingy uh extractor fan that's the one i mean i like doing this little design where they're kind of in each other because then you've got these here which just sort of work really nice some food storage some like counter space type thing um a little composter here's what i'm thinking is like trash disposal unit type stuff some more storage and then a sink and what i love doing with my sinks is if i've got space i'll put a tea towel on them uh just so like you can wash up your dishes and then like dry them off pop them away type of thing is how I look at it. I just make it nice and functional and aesthetically pleasing. We move the door from that side to this side just so it kind of takes up this space that isn't really going to be used for anything else. And there we go. So I think this looks really nice and pretty for a small thing. You've got some lighting in there and it just adds a lot of detail and you can still walk about. There's still enough space to go into everything okay. without having to jump onto things with no issue whatsoever so there's some kitchen inspiration for you a nice little piece of stuff obviously we've used the stone because i like my kitchens to be kind of like granite top type things and but i don't like the color of granite in this game um so it's just like a nice you know it's sturdy so when you're chopping away you're like choppity choppity chop i mean an axe would be better choppity choppity chop um you've got chopping boards but you know it's not going to break the surface it's just kind of the extra added realism of it for me. But yeah, let's move on to this living area and get this all situated. So here we go. We have a little area downstairs. So you've got this sort of like greeting area as you come in where you can hang up your coat, pop down your keys type of thing. I really like how this came out. I might put a painting here, um, a seating area for any food or conversations and stuff. In like a little workstation now this house here i haven't done as much as i usually would on a living room and that's because this is our starter house don't forget that but it just adds that little extra detailing and as you can see you can see that some of these are connected to extra pillars and stuff and that's absolutely fine it's fine this is one house in a big city things are going to be different everywhere okay and the way these look is I think it looks amazing 
and it just elevates the way this looks inside and we got this carpet which is a little bit shaggy so it's like dipping up and down type of thing i really like how it's come together and the white of the wall working with the white of the concrete and you can see the different shades of it i think this looks amazing down here so what we've now got to do is upstairs here i want to do an office area and then a bedroom area as well so let's get those two bits done so here's my version of an office a bit eclectic lots of books to read you've got a station there you can turn and just write if you want to storage everywhere some paintings about a little book corner which do i have any more of these i do i could add a chair there so if i wanted to sit and just read and look out i could and it just had some really nice feel and mixing in having the uh vanilla tweaks where it gives me different bookcases each time i place them down type of thing and adding in the looms to be empty bookcases i just feel like it works really nicely and it just gives it that extra feel that you just don't expect type of thing from this sort of build um and i love it i love it so much so this is our little office all that's left to do is the bedroom really and maybe a little a little something here or here type area just to kind of cup this off but yeah let's get into that bit so here we go we have a bedroom in place nice little bed feature some like closet space some things to put your stuffs on like shelving unit type thing i don't know it just looks really nice i quite like how this has turned out for a nice little um bedroom area and just out here we've added some like foliage type stuff it just looks nice honestly and then what i have done is outside of here i had a few bad guys last night Bam. oh didn't pop it quite right there we go there was another one somewhere there bye bye go away peoples i got things to show the peoples um so just here what we've got is a nice little garden area where this where me i guess tends to the farm um i don't want to talk about that but we've got this nice little like tool shed area where he's got his hoe on the tool rack type thing which i think looks quite nice but yeah it's a nice little like extra area just outside of the house that adds to the whole feel of the place i've got a lot of stuff in my inventory um but yeah this has come along really nicely and that's the house itself completely finished now what we need to do is terraform this stuff which will come in a later episode i will guarantee it um, we still need to do the interior of that place and we need to do our shulker boxes which I think we should go over and do now but first we actually need to speak to uh, a Mr Beardstone he's, gi he's given me a call and he said he wants to meet over at my shop so I guess I should head over there and just see what he wants. Knock knock! Hello! Hi! Oh hey, how you doing? How you doing? I was just passing by and it occurred to me that I still need a paper hat from you. I believe I paid for it about six weeks ago and uh, I'm expecting a high quality paper hat. Sorry, um, it's, I'm getting a bit of heat stroke at the moment. Can't remember that. Oh, uh, pay, pay no attention to that, that's fine. Oh, okay. Um, if you want to come and see Frederick, here yep. um i do i do hello hello frederick this this frederick's been hard at work with your one he's making sure it folds so that it doesn't hurt your ears he's making sure that it's flame retardant it's not there's terms and conditions just be aware of that um right okay yep good to know 
So that wait buttons. That but, uh, buttons. Did, did I throw it to you? Did I throw it to me? What just? What? Well, I've got a paper hat. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> yeah. You've, are you all right there? Are you no. all right there, chef? Have you no. had a long day? It, it's it's the heat, man. The heat's getting to me. Oh yeah. Sorry about that. Um, I, just to show you again, I know you saw it on stream day. Um, this I is did. I did. the beautiful head that you'll be, well, the hat that you'll be purchasing. You don't get the head with it. You do it's have... Really, it makes me it makes me really hungry, actually. Yeah, but it's good. I like it. Yeah. Uh, um, this, there we go. Armour stance. Difficult to d redo that. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I was just I was just letting you um and ah for a minute. I didn't really know what was going on there. So, uh, like, how 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 do you fix when armor stand is here? Um, yeah, just with magic, with magic. Uh, uh, did it? Yeah, cool. Anyway, right. So yes, paper hat, please, sir. Uh, I have it. Um, can I can I can I go try it on? But also, um, while I'm here, you may or may not have noticed. Maybe maybe if I take these off, you'll see even more. Look, but. My clothes are a little bit knackered. Um, I've been wearing them since I washed up on shore at the start of the season, and I really, really could could do with having them mended. And you seem to be a tailor. Do you work in more than just paper? Yes. Uh, so we had uh, uh, Mr. Bear, apparently you may know him. Good friend of yours, think about pickles. Um, oh, yes, 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 Black Bear. Yeah, he, he's a good friend. Yeah. He, he, he was he once a brown bear. Well. Yep. Um, well, we we yeah, gave him a spray a, tan. A... Oh, did you? Yeah, no, he was a brown bear with dungarees. Yeah, he's he called black bear. He's now a a, a black bear with um, pajama pants. Really, it's it's oh. to be honest, it's pajama pants. I've, oh, oh, fair enough. Well, I've I've not bumped into him yet, so uh, I'm gonna have to gonna have to go bear hunting. Bear, I don't know if he wants to be hunted. I don't. No, um... no, 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 not with weapons. Just like a. Hey bear, how you doing? Scooey. You know, uh, uh, the good kind of hunting, not the like bad, bad hunting. Okay. We don't um, do bad hunting over here. It's it's fine. I I don't. But yeah, anyway, um, sh sh can you do anything about my clothes? Yes. Um, I'll do your little spindle. But it's gonna it's gonna take a minute to like you've got like seventeen different. There's a waistcoat. There's a shirt. There's trout. You haven't even got any shoes. No, no, I'm not sure what happened to those. I think I lost them in the ocean somewhere. Um, Can you help with that as well? Yeah, let me see if I've got any spare clothes for you to wear, because I won't be able to do it straight away. Uh, oh, right, okay, I see. Um, just assuming I haven't got any other clothes. I mean, I, you, I clearly don't, otherwise you, I'll be wearing them by now. Yeah, that, that's how that makes sense. Plus, you washed up on the yeah. sea. Just, here's our lost and found. Yep. Um, if you come up with oh. me. Oh, oh dear. Um, they're, this they're, is questionable. They're, they're not great. Um, choose a fitting room. D does it matter which one? Yes. It does. Yes. Uh, right. Okay. What's what's the difference? What does it matter? Is there men, men, men's and women's? Uh, beard no. Beardstones and not beardstones. Is one a VIP room that's just for me? One will cost you double the price of your new clothes. What? I did the same well, thing one? to Bear, and he got it right. So, um, good luck. Choose the room. Well, this room's okay. Um, right, you're gonna you're you're gonna take these. There's my pants. Oh, and um, oh, there's 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 my clothes. You take those. And did you get on the others? I'm I'm doing it now. They're a bit they're a bit tight. One moment. I don't know where oh, we found them, honestly. Oh 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 dear! I'm I'm not sure about this. I'm I'm loving the hat though. The hat is very snug. This fits lovely. Right. Um, the thing is though, I'm I'm not too sure about these other clothes you've given me. <laughs> I mean, uh, <clears throat> uh, you look absolutely beautiful. I'm. I'm unsure. How long is it going to take for you to fix my clothes for me? Uh, 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 give me a second. Um, 
Frederick. Frederick is asking questions. Uh, he wants to know how long it's going to take to sew on the patches for the clothes. Um, what what do we tell him? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. So many, uh, uh, I made it. Um, so Frederick has said he'll be able to get it done in three to five working days. I've got to wear this for three to five days. Yeah, but it's it's not. You look so cute. You kind of Fine. look like a '90s pop boy band person. I mm, yeah. Look, it it is what it is. All right, it is what it is. I'm 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 just gonna leave and put on my my Thanos gear. One sec. There we go. Now no one will ever know. Now that, you can that see the braces. Quite as bad, right? <laughs> oh, oh no! I look like the superhero you never wanted. Ah, oh, this is horrific. Fine, right? I'll be back in a few days to get me clothes. Okay. Just make it make it three days, not five though. Uh, well, Jeez. it all depends on uh, if he's rotored and stuff, and obviously it's working days, and we're coming up to the weekend. So, uh, uh, Frederick, is there any way you can do express? Uh, um, yeah, I understand, but uh, so, excuse me, sir. Sorry, sometimes I get too keen. Sorry, it's well, these dungarees that are exciting me. It's gonna be, it's gonna be an extra two diamonds. Um, so we we can definitely do it in four. Right. Okay. Well, I'll be back in four days then. Maybe that will give me some time to get some diamonds to pay for. Wait a minute. We haven't even discussed cost. How much is this costing me? One hundred and fifty-two right... diamonds. I do not have that many diamonds. Did I? Did I get the right room? You definitely chose a room. Y yes. Was it the room that wasn't the bad room? I don't know. My internet cut out when you chose it. Um. I went to the room on the right. Uh, that one. Uh, I mean, whoa, what? Defacing proper extra five diamonds. Um, yeah, I mean, you did choose the right room, to be fair. Out of the 50 oh, okay, 50 cool. draw, you got the right one. Uh, the price does say here new clothes is 16 diamonds. And you are wearing new clothes. Well, actually, no, I think you'll find these are hand me downs. You're repairing clothes. I'll, I'll give you like 10 diamonds or something. I'll see what I can steal off of Mrs. B because I've got nothing. I'm broke. Yeah. Makes sense. I'll see what I can steal. See you soon. Okay, bye. Bye. So, guys, we've got Mr. B's stuff ready to do. As you can see, I've got my sewing machine set up. I've got some dyes and stuff in here. I've got some the pants there ready to go. The shirt's ready there. So, I guess it's time that we start sewing. Do this. <laughs> Well, there we go, all done, ready sorted. As you can see, it's done there. Um, I better go head over to Mr. B and get that sorted for him. It's been about five days, you know, it's been a bit difficult. But yeah, let's get that sorted for him. Uh, hey, Shep. Hi. Um, uh, how is this still burning? It's been four days. How is this still burning? Scaffolding never wants to leave, does it? Can't believe you just used that word in my presence. How dare you? Uh, anyway, anyway, like this isn't what we're here about. Although that is fantastic that that blight on the landscape is gone. But um, these clothes are really, really chafing me. Please, please, please tell me my clothes are ready. And uh, I, I need to go check with Frederick. Obviously, he's he's the he's the guy in charge. Um, okay, well, go 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 check, and I'll, they they better be ready. Uh, Frederick, is the beardstone clothes done? Is the order completed? Oh, really? No way! She didn't. Oh my god! Uh, 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 mm. uh, he said that they they are. Are you just admiring the fire out here? It's just it's too beautiful. Why would I not be admiring this? It's it's warm. It's fuzzy, and 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 the the, the thing has gone. So. Yeah, yeah, but it's been bad it. working condition for Frederick, and he's had to do all of the work, so, you know, extra charges. Um, 
I, I swear, I'm never coming here again. The amount of extra charges you're putting on things, it's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, that's how we make our money. Um, so you said... I always get really hungry when I come here as well, sorry. Uh, it's... Did you just hit another... You're... You're terrible. Do you want me to see you get changed? No. I want to take these clothes off, though. Gimme, yeah. gimme, gimme. There you go. Woo! Are these my new clothes? Yes. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go in the same room again, because I'm assuming nothing has changed. Right. Let me... Let me let me quickly get changed one moment. Okay. Um... I mean... They're, they're better, I suppose. They're not ripped anymore. But I'm not sh I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm I'm really not sure. I kind of feel a bit like Christmas threw up on me, and I trod on a couple of bunnies. Ah, uh, I mean, uh, um, uh, I guess that was. I, I, this is what happens when you ask for express delivery. Um, <laughs> but you still took four days. That's not very express at all. Hey, you hey, haven't used the, you haven't even used the same color fabric. What is this? Hey, hey, do do you want to go down there and tell Frederick he did a bad job? Do you want to be yes. that person? Oh. Uh. Frederick, what is this? You didn't even match the material. Shut up. Uh, just... Frederick, um, Frederick's I'm, rude. I'm, I'm pretty sure that was you. That, that came from upstairs. Uh, n I feel uh, like no, Frederick's it's just more an echo. The silent type. Is he more the silent? Either way, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not massively, uh, massively pleased with the results here. If I'm honest. I was kind of hoping that he'd at least use fabric that matched what I've currently got. But look at the slippers. I mean, I do. I do really like the slippers. Yeah, the slippers are cool. I like that. Well, cool is probably not the right word. The slippers are nice. Yeah, but they're very comfortable. Who cares what they look like? They're very comfortable. I like the slippers. I'll pay you just for those. There you go. Uh, and that's my final offer. I uh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa! You've hit seventeen different trap doors. You, you, excuse me. Whoa! What? Wait. What sorcery is this? <laughs> Distraction techniques. Run, run. Well, I. There's no returns. I'm keeping your dungarees as well. Uh, um, fine. I mean, you sweated in them. I don't want them back. Well, Frederick, that seemed like a perfect deal with Mr. Beardstone. Got ten diamonds out of him for just slapping some stuff onto his things. Just putting some patches and giving him slippers. I think that's a perfect day's work. Don't you? Exactly. It, should we... Let's let's get back to the organization of the ender chest because this is looking disgusting. Let's get back to base. So here we are in the shulker shop made by Mr. Casey. Um and we should probably get some of these so that we can organise this a lot better. So obviously we have our diamond one which is gonna be light blue, and then all of the other things that we should keep in it. So let's figure out what we want in our ender chest and then buy the colours to put the things into the things and stuffs and things, yeah? So here we go then. I spoke to Casey because obviously we're going to need to drop a lot of diamonds on this box. Um, but I uh, am doing a deal with him where it's 48 diamonds and I get 27 jokers to clear this. And then I can sort all of that stuff after. So, let's give him the amount of money he asked for. 48, right? There we go. And there we go. So now, we just need to get the shulkers that we need.
And a pig. So there we go. All of the shulkers we could ever need. In one. So let's get this organized. Let's take this over to the base and get this stuff all worked out and pretty. So here we go. All of them are laid out with what's going to be in them just to make this a little bit easier. So working with the money money, we got the money money box. So it's just about transferring what's in there to there and then put it in there type of thing. So let's just do that one quickly because that's going to be the easiest one that we've got to do today because the rest of them are not where we're currently stood. So put these in. Now I lay my stuff out a lot different to most people I found out because I like to be different. So this is how we do our money money box. Um, other things can go in there. So, uh, ancient debris, gold, iron, all of that sort of stuff. I'll probably work it out so it's a little bit better thing, but that's what we got in there so far. And then let's just go down the list and see if we can get the other stuff done. So here we go. I did the money money with you guys on, and then I've gone through and tried to sort everything out. So we got a load of extra gear, just from like end raiding and our elytras load of tools including our three things i found my bow by the way i found it redstone box not a lot in there but you know me i don't do a lot of it vid um this will be jungle i've just sort of got warp stem in there for now all of the different things that you need from wood stone and cobble need a bit more stone variant stuff gravel and some andesite because they work well together all of their heads that I've collected so far. We've got some glass. <laughs> then we've got lighting, which I put as black. Blue is the only one I haven't done, which is going to be ice. Then we've got dirt and grass. Some bones. Some potion. Healing and fire res, the two main ones I'll use. The flowers or dyes. All of our foodie stuffs. Rockets, which we're full of. The villager workstations. I need to get some more of these. Then we've got crops so we can plant and make foods out of. Mob drops. A rocket maker. So I'm going to get some gunpowder and fill this. So that if this is ever out, we have this to fall back on. Then we got our mini blocks. Then we got all of our never stuff. End stuff. The overflow of extra things that are used quite a bit. So brick, sandstone, all of that sort of stuff. Um, a bed in here. Then we've got our specials, so the statue books, some leads, shulkers, name tags, all of that sort of thing all fits into here. We've got a load of shulkers here that are now, a lot of them are empty. A lot of them have random stuff in that doesn't fit into these. I need to get sorted somewhere else. But yeah, that's our ender chest pretty much done with the exception of the ice and some of it not being completely full. But obviously that can be done as we go along when we need things. But yeah, that worked out amazingly for us. What we're going to do is we're going to name them. Um, so I might do it as the uh, Channel Point Redemption on Twitch because you guys can name a shulker and we're probably streaming later today. So that'll work out absolutely amazing for us. But yeah, there we go. Shulkers done. I mean, doesn't that just look so much better now and then when you guys start naming things it's going to just tie it in so nicely but let's get that up and uh i mean i should sort this but i don't have time i don't have time to sort this i've got other things to do though unfortunately all that stuff that we do have to do we can't do today because we have no more time so this episode has already gone on extremely long because of that whole interaction with Mr. Beardstone taking five days. But we've got the interior done. Our ender chest is looking swanky and that building still has no interior. We will get to it, I promise. We might do it on a stream, maybe. Um, but yeah, so that is this 
whole house completed. It it's amazing. I love it. We finally have our starter home done. And we still have our sewing machine out. Interesting. Well that is all for today's episode. So I love your faces. And I'll see you in the next one. Where we are likely going to be building a lighthouse for someone else. Well what? Yeah, you heard me right. We gotta build a lighthouse. I will see you then. Good. Bye.